Hey guys, welcome back to Think Making. I'm Anton, and this is the start of a new series I'll call Maker Must Have. In this series, I'll feature tools, materials, and other products I believe every maker must have. I won't go in any particular order and will feature everything you see down in the description. So let's start off with a digital caliper. A digital caliper is a tool used to make very accurate measurements. It's very helpful when the measurements need to be on point, as the smallest error can make a big difference. There are many brands, and some can go for as low as $15 or as high as $200. My first caliper was among the cheapest ones and stopped working after only a month. As I like things on a budget, I did some research and ended up with these. The Easy Caliper by Eye Gaging. In its packaging, you'll find some of its pros listed, such as a large screen and IP54 certification, which gives it some water and dust resistance. It's also cool that it can display measurements in three different formats, and has pretty good specifications for a caliper at this price. The caliper comes in a hard, plastic box with foam inside to keep it safe. It also comes with a spare battery and instructions, which I guess you'll never use. For extra protection, it comes inside a Ziploc bag, but that's not really important. What is though, is that this caliper seems to have a very good build quality. It's very sturdy and mostly made out of metal. To use it, simply push the power button and pull or push on the thumb rest to open or close the jaws. The button in the middle is used to change the display format from millimeters to inches or fractions. The third button is used to zero the caliper, which you would usually do when the jaws are closed. You can adjust the strength needed to move the jaws by turning this knob at the top, and can make more precise movements by rolling the wheel on the bottom. I also like that the back has a small conversion table, which might come in handy. Oh, and be careful not to lose the seal on the battery compartment cap, or you'll lose the water and dust resistance. So if you're not used to calipers like this one, there's multiple ways to use it. The most common way is to measure something's length, for which you may use the external jaws. But you can also measure something's inside, for which you use the internal jaws. Or you might want to measure something's depth, for which you use the depth road. Overall, a digital caliper is a very useful tool every maker must have. If you still don't own one, I suggest you get started with this one. It's very good and comes in at only 25 bucks. I'll leave an Amazon link down in the description. Well guys, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, feel free to support my channel through Patreon or by buying a cool t-shirt like this one in my merch store. If not, liking and subscribing would also make my day. And you might also want to check out that video. Again guys, thanks for watching and see you in the next one.